This is gonna be a struggle. I feel like I'm gonna die. I threatened him if he broke this pinky promise. I think I did it, y'all. Keep your eyes closed. And open. Hello and happy Vlogtober, day 28. I have been <laughs> working hard and researching basically how I'm gonna pull this off today because if you have been watching me for like literally a second, you know that I've been having the worst technical difficulties with my computer and it's not even my computer, it's my Final Cut Pro, unfortunately. So like my computer's fine, but my Final Cut Pro has been like just giving me so much crap and I overworked this computer like to the bone. Like I edit at least like four, five, six hours every day. It can handle it, but I'm also, you know, like, yeah, overworking it. So when I went to the Genius Bar for an appointment yesterday to try to see if they could fix my Final Cut Pro, obviously in typical Apple fashion, they tried to basically tell me like, you could always upgrade to the M1 chip computers. And I have been looking at them and I really, really want one. And that was even before I was having issues just because this is my job. I need to edit and to do it quickly and to render. And like, I feel like that would save me so much time. And they come in cute freaking colors, which is what I really want. And I think they came out a couple months after I got this one, which is what always happens. I'm like, dang, I would have bought that one to begin with if I would have known that was coming out. I've been already thinking about getting one anyways, but Griffin didn't know that. And then Griffin was talking about how he wanted to buy a desktop because he just wants a computer. His laptop he's had for like 10 years and it is kaputzing on him. And so I was like, sir, if you would like to buy my computer, I will buy a new one. And so we've kind of worked out a deal because he wants my computer. He wants a desktop anyways. And I've been wanting a new computer anyway. I mean, Griffin's all for it. Like we've definitely agreed on like a price and everything. I just told him obviously he can have this one when I buy a new one. I kind of want to surprise him with a new desk of his own and kind of revamp this office space to house both of us. I probably won't change a lot of the decorations today because this is ultimately going to take a while because I would love it to be like a his and hers space truly because right now it is just my office. But at least today I want to go to Ikea and get a new desk for him because right now there's just this desk which he could use but it has all of my things on it and I need those things somewhere. So I also want to grab a new cabinet or like a shelving thing to basically put those things on. But I at least want to get him his own space and like start him off with something so that way when he gets home from work, he has his own little desk over there and will have his own computer whenever I get a new one. So we're going to head to Ikea and pick out his desk. Actually, I already picked one out. I mean, I'm assuming he would like it. I don't really see why not, but it's basically this desk. This is the Alex, but in like a brown woody color because Griffin likes dark. I like white. Also so that they kind of match in a way is my thought. It'll be like this same color as this one, which I know to you guys probably looks black, but it's an espresso color. So I want to get him a desk that matches that, but it'll look like mine. And then we're going to play with some different ways to organize or rearrange this room. I've literally been playing around with the shapes that I like cut out and I measured them all and did them all to like scale and everything for this. So I've been trying to see if like, where can I put the desk and the new cabinet and the futon or like, how do I want to rearrange this? So we have different options that we're going to walk through, but I want to go get the furniture first so that way we can build that and then actually see where everything will fit the best. I've been air drying my shoes for like two days because I wore them to Cedar Point on Sunday and it like rained on us. So my shoes were like soaked and I didn't want to throw them in the dryer because I know that that can mess up. <laughs> that is a big stretch. A lot of the like, I don't know, it's probably not glue, but the glues that hold everything together. So I've been trying to air dry them, but it's also been raining outside. So I haven't been able to like put them in, you know, the window, but I think they're dry. They feel fine to me. Now little miss, do you want to go to daycare for like two or three hours or do you want to stay here? Paul for daycare. Okay, let's go daycare. Break. Up, up. Good girl. I still haven't put in her seat cover back on. I still forgot, but honestly, it's best that I didn't because I'll probably have to put my seats down and like shove stuff through the back seat to fit whatever I'm buying in here from Ikea. So she'll be fine. <laughs> I was just in traffic for a while <laughs> and I was stuck behind this Jeep. I just kept laughing the whole time because they had a sticker on the back of it that literally said, you should see me topless, which is so good. That is that is prime Jeep humor right there. I 100% appreciate that. <laughs> and a complete side note, but like, I would love to get a Jeep. I love how they look, like the aesthetics of a Jeep, the Jeep culture, what I want it. I want all of it, but I've just heard so many mixed reviews. Like either people love their Jeeps or people absolutely hate them. And they say that they're like terrible cars as far as like a daily commuter car, like they're great weekend cars, but wouldn't want to just like use it every day. And I just get so many mixed reviews and also they're really expensive. So who knows if that'll ever happen. And if I had a Jeep, I'd 
put that sticker on the back of it. <laughs> Comment down below what your dream car is. Not that a Jeep is like my dream car, but that's my like more attainable dream car. So let me know what yours is. I always make the mistake of parking near the entrance because of course that's where I'm gonna go in at, but I need to park at the exit because that's when I'll load my car up. I'm glad I thought about that right now. I don't need to walk through the entire like showroom and everything because I already know what I want. I'm probably still gonna walk through the entire like shopping part because you never know. Sometimes you see things that you want. These little bins that I just found, I don't know if they're the same color as his desk, but I think they would look good. They're like a little storage box or this thing, which has things to hold things in. I don't know if I want to get him one of these or if he would like that or if he wants something else. I feel like he would like it. took way longer than I thought it was going to, literally just to get these in my car. I don't know how I'm gonna get these up my stairs, like into the apartment. This is gonna be a struggle. I have three boxes and they're all just like heavy. Whew. It's already five o'clock, so I'm just gonna go straight home so I can build this stuff ASAP because Griffin's like job closes at six, but he usually doesn't get home until like seven usually. And I want this to be done before he comes home. I feel like I'm gonna die. That literally took me like a half hour to carry these boxes up here. I had to stop at like each step. Oh my God, and I had to change. I'm like sweating. Let me give you a little Ikea haul. First things first, I got this reusable bag. I thought it was freaking cute. It was only like, I don't know, 59 cents or something weird. So I got this and then all my stuff is inside of it. I got this Puda for Griffin's desk. Everything that I got is for Griffin's desk. So this Puda, which is like one of those little felt bins. I thought he would like it because it has masculine vibes, you know? So I'm trying to make sure he gets like masculine vibes. I got this, but it's in the wrapping. So I'll be able to take it apart later. It's basically one big thing to put stuff in and then three small ones to put stuff in, like a desk organizer kind of thing. And I thought that he would like it since it's like the brown and I'm hoping it kind of matches the color of the desk well. I also got, which of course you'll see all these things once I like unbox it, but it's called a Rezza. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's like a green metal container. Again, trying to go for like industrial masculine vibes, I guess you could say. I don't know, I feel like that's Griffin's vibe. All this is a surprise, so I don't know if he'll like it. Hopefully he will. And then I got him some drawer organizers, but I got them in this like creamy brown color because they had white but I would like the white but I think that he would like this and I think the contrast will be good with the drawers so I got two big ones four really tiny like square ones and then four medium long ones I don't know to organize the inside of the drawers Lord knows he will need it and then this is just something funny more of like decoration for him but I got him this like wooden hand because we always play with this when we go by and it usually is showing a middle finger or something so I feel like I'm gonna set it up to have that on there he'll like it it's something stupid but those are the small things I got other than the desk and the cabinet shelfy thing that I bought I didn't want to buy him absolutely everything because I'm sure that he'll want to get stuff for his desk but I at least wanted to I don't know get him some stuff that I thought would be cute we have the desk and then we have the cabinet that I can now build and hopefully get that done before he comes home I probably won't but I'm gonna start with the desk since that's the most important part and that way I can like decorate that and get them all set up for him I'm excited I think that he'll like it gift giving is not my love language I don't even know what this would be considered is it like an act of service maybe but I like giving experiences or more so like bundle or like a package deal kind of thing I don't know how to like verbalize it but this is something that's my love language like I'm not really good at buying gifts but I can buy this whole experience of like a new desk and kind of put it together package it big bow but it's like a lot of little things that overall give him the experience of having like a home office and his own desk and his own computer and stuff like that so I don't know what that's considered but I love doing stuff like this so let's dive in I'm gonna time lapse this because I want to do this as quickly as possible and I'm gonna listen to music and see how quickly we can do this.
Good morning guys, it is the next day. I was losing precious sunlight and my lighting in here is just terrible. So I one, didn't even want to reveal this to Griffin until he could see it in like good lighting. And then two, also didn't want to reveal it for you guys without good lighting. So I took a break and I made him peek. He promised me that he would not peek in this room until today after he gets off work. I threatened him if he broke this pinky promise, which to my knowledge he did not, but I closed the door and we had dinner and whatever and now he's at work. So it is time to get started again. I of course built the desk, which I did know they didn't have the same size as mine in stock. I think this is like a 52 inch technically. And I forget exactly how big this one is, but it's definitely smaller, which is fine. Like I use a lot more desk space when I'm doing all of my stuff. Griffin won't really need it. So I'm hoping that that's okay and he likes this. But the color definitely is like a really, really dark espresso. Like it matches this perfectly, even though both of them look black, but it's not black. It's like a dark espresso, but the drawers are white, which I thought was interesting. But I have all of this stuff up here. I'm not gonna decorate it yet. I honestly wanna build the cabinet first because I wanna reorganize all of this and kind of rearrange the room before I like really set anything up because of course trying to move a shelf with a whole bunch of stuff on it or once it's even built because it's heavy is gonna be a lot harder than if I just built it where I want it. And kind of the same thing with this. I don't wanna like fill it. I don't wanna put anything on it until I figure out where it's gonna go. So I want want to maybe, I guess, reorganize stuff first. Like, let's start there and kind of figure out a potential layout before building the cabinet. That way his desk can be like where it is and I can figure everything out. I think that's what I want to do because I feel like that would be easiest. The first thing that I want to try, which it's going to completely like rearrange everything, but I want to see if I can create like a nook of my own in this corner. So have my desk like coming out here and my back to the window. So I would have this little like nook, I guess, essentially where my desk would be so it's still centered with this stuff and then move the futon here so it's like the rest of the wall but I need to figure out if that'll even fit or how long that is if my desk will fit I don't know but that's kind of my first thought and then putting the cabinet that I'm gonna build here this shelf getting moved here and then that way Griffin's desk can be here with like this turned sideways the other way we're gonna figure it out we're gonna play with different layouts and see what works the best I'm gonna like measure stuff and figure out if like the futon can fit on that side or like how I want our desks to look or where they should be I like I have no idea I haven't figured it out yet I think it is okay, but if I put the cabinet where I thought it was gonna go, then I'd have no room to like get into my desk area. That's really the only problem. I'm thinking about just turning it backwards so that way it's like facing the window, but I don't even know if that would fix it either. I don't know. that these two windows are not centered. There's more space on the outside of that window than there is on this one. So it looks like they're like perfectly centered because that center spot has like the same amount of desk hanging over when really there's just extra space over there and my desk is longer. So like it works out perfectly actually. And I, I kind of like it. of a cabinet. Like I know I looked at the dimensions, but I guess I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. I kinda like it though. Like it's definitely interesting. I also didn't realize it was all metal. Like it looked like the bottom part was metal, which I was okay with because it like locked up, but it's an entirely metal cabinet, so yeah. <laughs> but now that it's built, potentially changing my mind on some things because I was thinking that this was just gonna go right here. But of course that's gonna cover that, which I was already thinking about taking down anyways. But I guess, I mean, I'm, I should just put it there just to see what it looks like, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't know. Yo, 
Yeah, I don't, that's too bulky. Like if you're walking into the office, <laughs> my mess. If you're walking into the office, I don't like seeing that right there. But I don't really know what else to do. The other option that I was thinking, which I don't know if I like, because I genuinely like the desks here. Like I like the way that this looks, but the other thing that I was thinking is move the couch back. My desk would go here, and then there is this big section right here where this shelf used to be that this could go, but it would cover probably like this far out of like the closet I'm thinking. I don't know, so I'll have to measure that. And then it would just be my desk and the new cabinet cabinet, couch, Griffin's desk. Basically back where we started. Which is why I'm not the biggest fan of this option because I like the new setup. Like I like the way that this looks behind me. This cabinet is just a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Don't know. I measured it and if I move the desks like completely against the wall, this would fit in between here. So like where Kitty's litter box is, that would fit there. But I also don't know if that would be too much. And then it would be really random having like that bites. I don't know. I guess we could try that because it's worth a shot. What do we think? I'm kind of, I kind of like it. It does suck that I know Griffin would prefer a brown desk because I would love for this all to be white, but <laughs> will make it work because that's more of like a nitpicky thing. I just don't like the mixing colors. I like all my furniture to be the same color, but I know Griffin would like the brown, but I don't think it looks terrible. Like looking at it head on, it's like centered with the two windows and it fits, but I don't know if I like this because I really like this layout or if it would look better the other way. I don't really know. And for now, I think I would put Kitty's like litter box on this blank wall behind me to cover up those outlets. I was thinking about getting her a new one that's like longer, kind of looks more like a bench kind of thing that she can go completely into and it's more secluded because gross but Frey has been sticking her head in this one and we've been stopping her but I'm just like mm -mm, I want to cut that out and I don't want to make that accessible for her so I kind of want to make it longer but I don't know how that would look because I didn't like that big thing there so why would I like this big thing here I don't know I guess we can measure that and see what that looks like so I was looking at one from Amazon and it looks like it's about 31 inches long and it'll stick out about 20 inches and it's about 26 inches tall I'm just gonna see what that looks like Here's 30. So it's definitely not that long. And then 20 inches, would that stick out too much? Am I gonna like that? I don't know. I mean, for now it'll just go there because I have nowhere else to put it, but I might get a new one. I just don't know how it'll look. I feel like the space needs a rug. I feel like if I had a rug, it would tie everything together. <sighs> I'm gonna run with this setup and just see what Griffin thinks and if he doesn't like it then we can also switch stuff around because it definitely gives you a lot of floor space like we're not lacking the actual room because all of this is open. Now to put everything back and restyle the new cabinet and I also want to take some of Griffin's things like he just got a new camera, potentially his Polaroid that's up there, basically take some of his stuff that he has in here like I don't know, I don't know what he has but kind of go through his stuff and see if there's stuff that I can decorate his desk and like some of the shelves and cabinets and stuff with that way it is a his and hers space. That is the goal. I don't know if I'll get 100% there today because I do want to do like a whole his side of decorations and stuff. So basically take all of this down. I don't know if it'll fit like over here or if I can move them. So I'd love for basically this to be a his and hers where like my pink stuff is over here and Griffin can have his masculine stuff. I think he would really appreciate that. I just don't know if I'll have time to like completely actually decorate this room because it's already like four o'clock again. Building furniture takes forever. Yeah, it's 341. So I at least want to get the room styled as is, move my computer over to his desk and that kind of stuff and see how much time we have and see what else I can do. I did also think about this that I didn't buy him a computer chair. So he doesn't have a chair, but when I was at Ikea, I was kind of looking at some, but then I thought that I would think that Griffin might want to pick out his own chair just to make sure that it's like comfortable for him or like, I don't know what he's looking to do or what he really wants. So I decided not to get him a chair. In the meantime, if he wants to use the desk or whatever, obviously he can use my chair, but I want to let him pick out his own chair because obviously like you want to be comfy and I want to make sure that he has whatever he wants to be comfy. Okay, let's get to decorating.
I think I did it, y'all. Let me show you what we got. I'm saving the best for last, so let's start with our shelf. There's some things that are new, some things that are the same. This top shelf is the same. I switched out a different bin here, a new book up here. This is where my camera will go whenever I'm not using it, so that's why there's a blank spot. I moved over my Alexa and my speaker that used to be on top of this end table, but I moved it over here just to fill the space. And then we just have some kitty memorabilia on the bottom there. We have Freya's bed here, which this door does still open, so we're still good there so we can get into the closet. And it doesn't bother me to have to like step in her bed to get on this side of the closet because we keep clothes in here that we're not readily wearing. So we're not gonna be in there too often, but that's really the only place that I could put her bed and she does lay in it, so I wanna keep it there. We obviously have the futon here, lined up with the artwork here. The wall's a little blank here but that is the least of my worries right now and then this is what the desk area looks like which I'm not mad about I think it looks good again we're still waiting on a chair here but I went ahead and switched over the computer over here for Griffin the keyboard the mouse he's got the whole nine yards we got the hand up here I think he'll like that and I actually underestimated how much stuff he had I thought he had way more stuff so I bought so many little containers but in the drawers here I just have these little ones filled with his <laughs> D&D dice airpods little like lens caps and stuff camera chart Charger, film. This is like watch bands and stuff like that back there. And then on this side we have an iPad, his headphones, and then one of the surfaces, like the laptop surface down there. Some pins in here. I got this like metal green tin because it gave me very industrial masculine vibes and I love it. But again, I don't know what to put in here. He has way less stuff than I thought. So we'll find something for that. The same goes with this little set. It came with three of these, but I don't even know what to put in these two. So I just kind of put the other two down here along with some of his books. The lighter for this candle up here, another little bin, and this is just like screen cleaner and stuff, so that's like his side of this little thing. I was gonna put this inside the drawer, but it didn't fit, so I'm gonna use this as like his little filing bin, so he can put papers there that he wants to like go through or whatever he needs to do with that. I'm probably gonna leave my computers here because I have my cords kind of coming in through the back, so that way they can charge here. There is an open spot here because once I made him kind of a filing area, I realized that I would like a filing area, and I want like a little tiered filing system so that way I can can put stuff away or just have a space to put papers that I need to look at because right now I just shove them in this drawer but there's like so many papers that I need to go through and if I don't see them I don't do them so I think I want to get something here I have his two cameras this is just a little thing that his mom made with coins in it we have my actual filing cabinet this little thing that holds my batteries and stuff like that for my cameras another bin our Colorado box a plant and then up top just some sunglasses Polaroid another bin random stuff and then my desk looks so bare because I need to get another computer so for now it will be blank and I can obviously roll my chair over to his side it doesn't really matter what side of the desks I'm working at I just want this desk set up for the reveal side of it so he can actually see what it looks like and you know get a little space for himself and I kind of do like that my desk is right beside this stuff because this is what I actually use on basically a daily basis or monthly like I want to be able to see what videos I'm doing and kind of plan out and that way I don't even have to get up so I don't know I, I like the way that it came out it was kind of rough didn't know where it was gonna go but I'm pleased with it I think Griffin will like it. And again, I think he'll like it even more when he gets like his own decor on this side instead of all of my pictures, but that is for another day because I definitely don't have time. While I've kind of like made a mess doing things, I want to like make the bed and I have tons of laundry to fold up. So I'm just going to tidy up until Griffin gets home and then you guys will get to see his reaction. You've got to wait. Uh-uh-uh. This is dad. It's just dad. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Give me your hand. And open. Bougie as shit. Right? But look at you, you got a setup. <laughs> <laughs> I was I walked by it and I, I knew you needed it. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I ended up not wrapping up that vlog or at least like finishing it because Griffin's not the type to do a whole bunch of stuff like for camera. So I of course wanted to get his immediate reaction, but we went through everything, you know, off camera and stuff. So he was very, very excited. He liked it. He of course liked the hand and the middle finger, but he was definitely surprised. He was not expecting this. He was thinking I was building a dining room table because we've been looking for one. So he was definitely not expecting this. So I was really, really pleased that it was a true surprise, but he ended up loving it. He's really Really excited. I ended up moving my computer back over here because I'm not gonna get a new computer for a while, mainly because they're out of stock until like November 26th or something. So I'll be editing here for a while, but of course the gesture is still there and he's obviously free to use this anytime. He always was, but this will be his as soon as I get a new computer. But I'm so glad that he ended up liking it and I'm still really excited to like finish it, like actually decorate stuff because of course on my side, I love my stuff. I'd love to get his side decorated, but of course that'll be for a different video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little 
transformation. I know it was probably sporadic and very random for you guys, but again, we've been talking about this for weeks and I was just bored and decided to do it yesterday. But I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video. Bye.